So like I promised uh, at the end of my last video, I was going to make a roster mania video talking about all of the rumored or confirmed roster changes that have happened so far in the past like couple of weeks, um, essentially since CWL Montreal uh, slash CWL Dallas. Um, so first of all, I want to say thank you to Druid00 on Reddit. Uh, he made the list that I'm currently reading to... Um, kind of organize all of the rumors. Uh, I was planning on making this list myself, but obviously he made it on Reddit before me, which made you know the process of, of getting all these rumors and everything written down a lot easier. Uh, so thank you, Druid, for the extra help. Um, but to start, I'm going to be starting with Ground Zero. Um, and obviously you can find this list on Reddit and you can follow it from the top with me if you'd like. Uh, as we kind of go through. But the first team, again, is Felony and Nogafen to Ground Zero. Now, for purposes of Ground Zero, uh, this is a great move for Parasite and Study. I think getting Nogafen and Felony uh, very much benefits this team. Um, you know, I think those are both upgrades from Felony and Blastful. Uh, and Felony and Blastful were pretty decent, but I think... Uh, the, I think they still had a little bit of learning to do, uh, as far as respawn game modes is concerned. And I think there was some clear inconsistencies, I think from those two, uh, whereas Parasite and Study were fairly consistent through, uh, the two events that we had seen them in thus far. Uh, and so the Snogafen and Felony move makes a lot of sense for Ground Zero. Uh, from the Nagafen perspective, obviously Next Threat has broken up completely. Uh, and obviously I'll be talking about all four of the players involved with Next Threat and where they've kind of gone because obviously this team is now um, the kind of, uh, you know, this this team is split up and, and all four of these players are now part of this roster mania. So for our Naga fans perspective, makes sense. Joins probably the the best team that was looking for a roster change at the current moment, in my opinion. Um, and they'll they'll be a, a really good team uh, moving forward. And then Felony is the other one. Felony leaves Rise Nation, and Rise Nation is kind of a weird team. They kind of had a little bit of turmoil. They had some okay placings or an okay placing, excuse me, at Dallas. Um, and they were kind of a team where they probably would have made Pro League with their current roster, but with their current roster, it felt like they had really hit their skills, their skill ceiling, excuse me, uh, on this game already. And I I, I think this roster move is, is perfectly logical because I, I just don't know that they were ever really going to challenge uh, any of the better teams for you know, top five or top four, uh, in, you know, in, in call of duty. So the move from felony makes sense to me, um, uh, just to try to, you know, change the scenery essentially. And he's, he's joining three pretty decent players. So, you know, fair play to felony, um, taking a chance, leaving rise and joining this team. And I think this team will probably, uh, make pro league. They look to be probably a top 10 team, uh, moving forward, but on to the next roster. And that, of course, is uh, Ricky from Next Threat, Pharaoh and Blast from Ground Zero, and Decimate from E6. Um, and apparently there's been a rumor that C9 is the organization getting them. That was rumored. Um, obviously, uh, on the notes, he put rumored but unlikely. And I actually hadn't seen that rumor yet, um, but I would probably consider that to be highly unlikely. Um I would assume that they'll just get picked up by some sort of like lesser organization, like a, you know, like a rocket esports uh, style um, or, you know, like underworld esports or like one of those orgs that kind of just takes one of those like lower and or uh, like, you know, top and lower pro teams and funds them for individual events, things like that. Um, so I would expect uh, a team, uh, you know, an organization like that to probably fund them for NOLA and then maybe going forward if the team is, you know, rich enough or has the money to 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 be able to do that. But uh, this team, uh, I honestly don't put a lot of stock in. I think um, for Pharaoh and Blasts, this move is uh, really not good for them. I mean, they kind of like 
were given the chance to to show that they have what it takes uh, at the pro level with Parasite and Study, um, and I just don't think they showed us anything uh, worth talking about in those two events. Um, Ricky, this is really a negative move for him, in my opinion. I mean, he's joining essentially three S and D stars. Um, I mean, they'll be good at search, but you know, overall, I think this is a really bad move for Ricky. I think that next threat team was like just slowly getting better and better. And now, you know, they basically disband, which may not have been his choice. Um, but he certainly did not make a, a move, you know, up the food chain in any way, or, or even a lateral move. I mean, he really did, uh, did downgrade, uh, with, with these players. And then the fourth player on the roster is decimate who came from E six and, this is probably a pretty lateral move to what that E6 roster was at. Um, and even the E6 roster might have been a little bit better than this roster because obviously they had Dashy, who was like one of the better players uh, in this game statistically so far. So, you know, really this roster, I don't, I don't have high hopes for this roster. I mean, I think this is a roster that probably, and actually I'll, I'll go farther than probably I'll say that I think there's probably about a 95% chance that this team doesn't make pro league. I just don't think they really have it. I mean, they have, they'll have decent pro points obviously because uh, all these players played on pro teams that did particularly well in the two caves in the lands. So they will be in the, the spot, but they'll have to really perform well at NOLA to, to prove to me uh, and I think to prove to everyone else that they are actually uh, a competitive team and will actually compete at this level. Um, but moving on, so next is Mir, Mochilla, Pander, and GodRx. And Pander and GodRx, um, I'm not sure what team they were on before this, but they were on E6 just for CWL Montreal. Um, and... I don't know. I don't really buy into, to be quite honest with you, any of these players in this game. I mean, this is another team where I don't expect them to make pro league. Um, you know, maybe if they stick it out uh, after season one and they do, you know, they could probably qualify for the relegation tournament and maybe get into stage two that way. But I'm not really buying into them. Uh, as a team, I think they're probably even worse than the Ricky team. Um, and we'll see what happens, but I don't know. I would assume that these people, you know, this team doesn't have a lot of pro points and I would assume that, you know, they would have to get like a really good placing at NOLA to make pro league. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't buy into this team. Uh, and for me, they're kind of in the same boat as, as the Ricky, uh, the Ricky team for, uh, for pro league purposes, I guess. Uh, and then Druid here wrote Dashy is still on E6, even though he wants out. And obviously, uh, I don't know a whole lot about how much Dashy really wants to leave. I mean, I don't, it, it could have been confirmed somewhere along the line or rumored that he did. Uh, but I can imagine why. I mean, Dashy has been, like I said before, one of the statistically the best players in uh, World War II. And he is I think due for his shot on a really good team. Uh, like I could see like envy dropping classic for Dashy, like something like, like a move like that. Or even like if someone leaves United, you get silly, something like that. You know, I, I, I could very much see Dashy uh, making like a, a, a move to a top seven, top eight team, you know, uh, moving forward if he continues to put up the levels like this and E6 continues to struggle. Like, uh, I'll say, like, if E6 doesn't make Pro League, I would be almost certain that Dashy will be traded to a Pro League spot, uh, essentially is what I'll say. So I think Dashy is is probably getting on E6 or is getting into the Pro League no matter what. The question is, is does he do it with E6 or does he uh, kind of – you know, essentially be like a, like a football player or a basketball player. And they're kind of like contract season or the contract year is what they call it in sports where the player plays exceptionally well to get the contract to join like a really good team. Like that's almost what Dashy is playing for at this point, uh, where he's just putting up the really good stats to either make 
the playoffs or make obviously in this his case the pro league with his team or prove that hey I am like this elite that someone is going to want to pick me up that he'll just get picked up uh, by a team that makes pro league um, and so the last team here is that Bevels is joining era which is Dito rallied and perplexed um, yeah I don't really want to spend too much time on this team this is another team just like the Mir, Moch, Pander, and Goderex team. I mean, this team and those those like those two teams for me are both like suit like I'm trying to think. Like they're probably top twenty four teams. It, realistically. If you play an event with all three regions, those teams realistically like might make pool play. And if they make pool play then they'll f- they'll lose all their pool play matches and then lose in the first round of losers bracket. Like that's just how I feel about this team. Both of those teams, um, I just don't really th- see any way that these teams perform um, consistently at a high level and are ever anywhere near pro league uh, for stage one or stage two. So that is the uh, column that was the almost confirmed or pretty much confirmed rumors. And I think actually the bevels to error rumor got confirmed by the time I'm making this video. I got to be honest. I haven't been on Twitter in a couple of hours. Um, so, uh, but I do believe that one was confirmed and I actually, I'll double check that real quick. Let me go to cod Gamepedia and see if that one was confirmed. I'm almost positive that it was um, yeah, so it was confirmed. It was actually confirmed a couple of days ago, according to Cod Gamepedia, that Proofy was leaving and, and Bevels was joining. Um, so I, I guess I missed that. Um, I know Proofy had announced that he was a free agent a couple of days ago, but I didn't realize that uh, they had announced Bevels that day or whatever as well. But either way, it doesn't matter. So Bevels has, is joining Era, and their roster don't put any stock into it. They, you know, I would be extremely surprised if they do anything. Um, but then we get into another juicy roster, kind of like the Ground Zero one, uh, one that I think is actually relevant and can be competitive and potentially can make Pro League, and that is Echo Fox. Uh, it looks like Aqua is going to be joining Echo Fox for Gunless. Um, and, uh, he just wrote a little note that basically Aqua had like, was like, or, uh, assault, excuse me, was like gassing up Aqua on a stream or something like that. And then I think they played scrims some night offline and it like got leaked or something like that, but essentially almost entirely confirmed, but Aqua is going to eat, uh, Echo Fox, which Essentially, uh, you know, this again, this is a team that was already top 10, top eight for sure. Um, And I think that keeps them right at this mark. I mean, I think they're probably going to make pro league. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. They're a very good team. Um, And I think Aqua is probably an upgrade from gunless. Uh, I think this puts a lot more pressure on rise, to be honest with you, uh, to, to see what happens to, um, Looney and uh, who is Rise's fourth? Aqua. It was wait. It was Aqua Felony Looney and I am blanking right now. But either way, it doesn't matter. Rise is in probably a little bit of trouble right now, um, and I think that going forward, they are going to have a little bit of trouble. Um, because the thing with Rise is now all these players are already getting rumored to join teams, and it kind of seems like like Rise Nation is going to kind of get the scraps um, from from whatever's left going forward. Um, oh, TJ Halley is the player for Rise. So TJ Halley and Looney are kind of going to get the, the scraps moving forward um, with this Rise Nation team. But we'll see who they get. Um, and I believe there's, a, there's the rumor... Uh, about Rise Nation in here. Oh, it's actually next. Uh, but 
just to just a review, Echo Fox, I think they're in a very good shape moving forward. I think Echo Fox will probably be a pro league team, like I said. Um, and I think this is a pretty good upgrade for a team that was already looking to be uh, top top eight, maybe top six at some events um, going forward in the rest of the year. So this uh, rumor, the next one is that Gunjar and Royalty will be joining Rise uh, and that the Lightning Pandas team is is just going to split up. Uh, so, Gunjar, Royalty, TJ Halley, and Looney. Uh, that's that, that's a pretty good team, to be honest with you. I could definitely see this Rise Nation team making Pro League. Um, and I've realized I've probably said or will say throughout the course of this video that there's like 14 teams that could make Pro League. Uh, from North America, but that's just kind of the state we're in right now, right? We're in a in a state and competitive Call of Duty where outside of the top six or seven teams in NA, every other team is kind of uh, you know like up for grabs. Who's going to make Pro League? You know, it's 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 essentially seven teams fighting for three spots is what we're looking at right now. But for Rise, uh, they have Gunjar and Royalty. Joining, like I said, uh, that's the rumor. And this team, I mean, they're getting a really good AR in Gunjar. They're getting a very aggressive sub in Royalty. Uh, I think TJ Halley has been pretty good for Rise so far this year. Um, Looney has always been a very decent player. And I think this will let Looney kind of really excel on this team because royalty can be the super aggressive sub, which allows Looney to be the exact type of sub player he wants, which is kind of like, um, not like too fast, but he can play like a little bit slower of an SMG, which I think is when he's at his most dominant. I mean, obviously in advanced warfare, it was a little bit different. Like in advanced warfare, he was that hyper aggressive sub, uh, when he was on, you know, he was on team envious for a little bit during advanced warfare and a couple other teams. Um, but in in the last couple of games, I think he's little really slowed down as an SMG player, which I guess could be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it. Um, but I think Looney is is at his best when he has another SMG player who's a little bit more aggressive than him, or is you know is more willing to just kind of fly into gunfights and things like that um, and kind of take the pressure off him as a sub. So I think this move really helps Looney. And then as far as TJ Halley's concerned, um, from what I've seen, I think he's kind of been running the AR and the sub a little bit. Uh, and this probably will let him run an AR a lot. But I think for the most part, his role really doesn't change on the team. Um, just based on who they're picking up because they're, you know, they're getting Gunjar, who's like that pure AR, uh, you know, anchor style player who will will just be their main AR still moving forward. So I think this move uh, really benefits Rise, to be honest with you. And the more I talk about it, the more I'm kind of like uh, realizing like, hey, this lineup can really make some some waves. Um, and it'll be really interesting to see the Rise versus Echo Fox game because those are two teams that I think are really like pushing for this pro league spot, obviously that are both like really good and both potentially could make pro league. So, um, rise, definitely an exciting team to look out for. Uh, and then the third team on this, uh, section, I guess of the rumors is E six, which is general dashy methods and sensor. And for, let's see. For general, this is a pretty good move. I mean, I think between the four other teammates that Dashie and General had tried uh, since this game came out, I think Methods and Sensor are by far and away the two best ones that they've tried. Um, I think Dashie is the best player that any of these players have played with so far. Um, obviously, that includes all the other players E6 tried, and then the two players uh, that were on Next Threat with Methods and Sensor, which is, of course, Nagafen and Ricky. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, I think Dashi is like one of the best players in the game and he's definitely the best player that any of these three have played with. Um, so Dashi will be very good. Uh, general will still be fairly decent. I think he should be fine moving forward. I know he's ran in a sub a little bit. I think this allows him to run an AR, which will make him actually a lot better than he, we've seen so far, which is really good. 
Uh, and then I think methods and sensor, obviously, you know what you're getting with sensor. You're getting an objective player who will from time to time put up like good slang, like generally, generally good slang numbers. Um, but he's just going to be that objective player, that kind of, you know, like guy that's looking to fill uh, all the roles and do all the support play for for all of his teammates. And then methods has been, I would say, fairly underrated in this game by most people. Like he's been a very good SMG player. Um or just a very good player, I guess, in general uh, so far since this game has come out. And I think this meta suits him a little bit um, just because it's a little bit more of a sub-heavy meta. Um, and so, yeah, E6, again, they're right up there with Rise and Echo Fox is a team that could make Pro League and that I expect to be certainly competing at NOLA for a Pro League spot uh, moving forward. So... After that, um, before I talk about the, I, I, I don't really want to talk about this rumor too much, but it was rumored that Gunless is going to E United for Silly, but that was denied by Silly. He said that 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 rumor isn't happening and that rumor shouldn't matter. I know Clay posted something on Twitter about how ridiculous some of the behind the scenes, uh, basically just like crap that's going on with all these rosters. Uh, and that, you know, he was annoyed that he had to deal with stuff on Christmas and that, you know, he's out here trying to talk to teams, making sure all of his teammates aren't going to leave and that, you know, don't listen to all the rumors because not all of them are true. Uh, you know, essentially just trying to say, like, um, you know, it's it's annoying dealing with rumors uh, and, you know, everyone just kind of chill out for a second. Can we can we just enjoy the holiday? Uh, things like that. And I think. The main message, though, really to take away from that is just that United probably won't be making a roster change and that Clayster is is uh, kind of confirmed that by saying, like, you know, it's really annoying dealing with roster rumors. We're not even making a roster change. Like, why do I have to deal with any of this, you know, shit? That's basically what he's saying. Uh, so. And then for the list of no changes uh, or rumors being made about them, I don't really need to read it. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll read it anyway. Just for the sake of the video, I will read it. It is Evil Geniuses, Ghost Gaming, Allegiance, Team Caliber, Optic, Phase, and Envy. Those are all the teams that are not making changes or have no rumors to make changes. Uh, another team that he actually didn't put on here is Luminosity. And then I really wouldn't consider the E United thing to be a rumor anyway. So all those teams... Uh, they are good to go. They are going to be staying with their rosters, which I think is good for all those teams. I don't really see a reason for any of them to make a change besides maybe Ghost Gaming. But even then, I mean, they had a really bad CWL Dallas. There's no doubting that. But they have been a pretty good team in the 2Ks. Um, and NOLA will be a very important event for them. Uh, they can obviously still make that pro league. They're still in that race. So... Uh, but overall, those are the main rumors uh, that I've seen right now. And if a lot of rumors, if there's a lot different rumors or there's a lot more roster changes confirmed, things like that, um, I'll probably make another video in a couple days time, uh, you know, just to kind of let things work itself out. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Please share this on Reddit, Twitter, wherever you are. Uh, you can be found on social media, and I hope you guys all have a good night, and uh, I'm excited for, for CWL NOLA and, and for more roster changes.